Today I'm going to talk about the book Strengths Based Parenting by Mary Reckmeyer. I'm a big book nut and I especially like leadership books, but normally I avoid parenting books because I feel that there's no one correct way to parent. But I thought I would give this Strengths Based Parenting book a try because I've had such great results at work with the Strengths Based Leadership book. I was first introduced to that book um, as part of our Women's Affinity Group Leadership team. We all read that book together and took the Strengths Finder assessment together. And I thought it was really good, so I've also used it with my work team. And I know several other managers at Cummins who have used it with their work team with great results. So I thought I would check out this Strengths Based Parenting book and see what it had to say. And I'm glad I did because I really enjoyed the book. Now the book looks pretty long but it's actually a fairly quick read and I will explain why. The first 90 pages is the actual book part of this book. Um, this is where they talk about the theory of the strengths-based parenting and explain that they don't think that there's one right way to parent, but that the best way to parent is to identify your strengths and use those in your parenting and also to identify your children's strengths and encourage them to build on those strengths rather than focusing on your children's weaknesses. One of the things they do talk about in this section of the book is partnering with your kids' teachers since the teachers have another perspective on your kids' strengths. So that's one action item I took after reading this book is that in future parent-teacher conferences I'm going to make sure to ask the teachers what they see as my kids' strengths. The largest section of the book is devoted to the Clifton Strengths Finder, which is the survey that either you can take to identify your strengths or that your child age 15 or older could take to identify their strengths. There is one code in the back of the book that you could use for this assessment. I just went right to those and read just the summaries about my specific top five strengths of the 34 to see what recommendations they had for me to use in my parenting. So this actually didn't take long to read at all, even though it's the longest section of the book. The survey takes about 45 minutes, and one thing I always tell people at work to do is make sure you set aside 45 minutes where you can be uninterrupted to take that survey, because they only give you a little bit of time to answer each question before it moves on to the next question. So if you're just sitting at your desk at work and you get people walking up and talking to you, um, you won't get the survey done very well. The next section is about the Youth Strengths Explorer. It's about this long. When I first read the book, I completely skipped it because it's intended for kids age 10 to 14, and I don't have a kid in that age range yet. Um, I did, at the end, decide that I wanted to be familiar with the youth assessment, so I asked my seven-year-old if he would be willing to take it, and he was. Um, so I had him take it. What they do is they ask your child uh, 78 questions, and they'll have a statement, and then the, the choi they have four choices. They can either say that they do that almost always, occasionally, sometimes or almost never. So the statement might be something like, I enjoy making others laugh. Once they finish that survey, which they say takes about 15 minutes, it did take my son longer, but he's younger than the intended age range. So about after those 15 minutes and 78 questions, it'll tell you the top three of the 10 strengths that your child possesses. And it does give you this really nice report, so I have my sons printed off here. Um, it talks about their top three strengths first, and then it has a couple of pages with action items for the youth, and then a few pages of action items for the adult. What they do intend for you to do with children younger than 10 is the strengths spotting. So that's the final section of the book. Um, it's maybe... 50 pages or so, and it just goes over what each of those 10 strengths are for the youth um, and tells you some ways that you might spot them in your child younger than 10. I did read this before my son took the survey, and there was one that definitely stood out to me that I thought this is the one that, that, he prob that I've spotted in him the most, and that was identified as his top strength of the 10 when he took the survey. So I think that the the youth survey and the strengths spotting for young kids do correlate really well, and I was really impressed with the, the Youth Strengths Explorer survey. So definitely check it out if you would like. Let me know your thoughts on the book, if you've read it, and other ways that you've found to capitalize on your strengths and your children's strengths in your parenting. Thanks.